once the Scala plugin is installed, we can easily create a new project. Let's name it with very simple Scala Java project name or maybe something shorter. Very simple. Press next. Next. Here I specify that I want to use Scala and here I need to specify the folder where Scala distribution is installed. Press next and I can now move forward and select SRC in order to add a new package. And now I can add Java classes, Scala classes, everything can be bundled together, there shouldn't be a problem doing so. Let's start with adding a Java class, let's name it shape, let's make it an abstract class, and here let's define the abstract method area. Now let's define something which is not um, abstract. Well, as you know, when you override, you better add the override annotation. And here I can return uh, area equals and the value area returns. Now I can move forward and define classes that extend shape. It can be a class in Scala or in Java. All options are available. Let's define a class in Scala. Let's name it rectangle. Uh, let's make it a class to, with two uh, members, double and width type double and height of the type double, and uh, let's specify that it extends shape, and in order to assist us with uh, implementing the abstract method or methods we get from shape, I can select code, uh, and here implement methods. This way I can get auto-generated default implementation. Uh, let's fix it to be a meaningful definition. Okay, so we have a definition for rectangle. Let's move forward and do something similar, only that now it would be a class in Java. Let's define circle. The syntax is different. This is the syntax of Java. Here we have a constructor. Okay, and as before, this class also extends shape, so we need to define, to implement the abstract method. Let's go to code, implement method, okay, and let's put something meaningful. Okay, so we have a definition for uh, circle for rectangle. Let's define the entry point. Let's call it main program. It shall be an object in Scala. And here we can now define the main method. And here we can define local variables such as val vec of the type array. And it will be assigned with the reference for an array of type of shape. And the size, let's say, uh, 5. Let's make it three simple. And now we can move forward and assign values to each one of those um, placeholders the array has. 
it can be a reference for a circle object that was defined in uh, Java, it can be a reference for uh, object instantiated from a rectangle, a class defined in Scala. And we can now code a simple um, for loop to iterate all object vec old and for each and every one of them indirectly invoke the two string so we shall get something back to the screen let's mark the object we want to execute right click and select run main here it is